P1P. It says set up in 15 minutes, so we'll see if that's even possible. I'm a complete novice. I've never even seen a 3D printer in real life, so we'll see how this goes. Shall we watch it? Mm, I don't know. This. So I think I got a bit carried away. I already took off some of the zip ties. I'm going to start a timer and see how long it takes to get this thing going. I haven't read this yet, so I'll include that in the time. That's green. I was expecting white. Allen keys is what I need. So it looks like there's two bolts on the back. For the spool holder. PTFE tube anchor. Goes in here. Goes into the print head. Move three screws with the Allen key to unlock the hotbed. Some red arrows. Three LCD. Screens on. Printer binding, so to get the app and log in. So we're almost at 15 already. I've got the app. Connect the printer to power. Not a very long power cable. Jesus. Luckily, I have a plug just down there, so. So it's plugged in. Here we go. Oh, here we are. Time's ticking over. More help for stupid people like me to make sure you do everything right. Put the instructions on the screen to complete the initial collaboration, so. Fail to connect to live view. I think perhaps you just press start here. Okay, so I've wasted a couple minutes with that. If that counts as 15 minutes setup, then it took me roughly 23. Self test complete. So it's quite quick to set up. So it's the next day. I've pushed the printer back into its black permanent place and I've done the calibration one more time. I've downloaded like a test print piece um, and I've downloaded Bamboo Slicer. Yeah, I'm going to send this to the printer and it'll be my first print. We'll see how it turns out. It's doing it. So it's coming to the end of its like first layer, and I think I'm not sure its first layer is like much slower than the rest of it. So I'm hoping after it finishes this layer, it's going to speed up. It's going to be crazy. Holy shit! 
Oh my god! Okay, I've just noticed. It's lifting. It's lifting on the corners. Uh, and I don't know if that's going to cause a problem. Stop, it's failed! It's failed, it's failed, it's failed, it's failed, it's failed. I realised I didn't get on camera how I fixed this problem. And it's a bad adhesion issue. Uh, the way I fixed it is that I increased the temperature of the heat bed from about 30 degrees to roughly 60, 50 or 60 degrees. That's how I fixed it, but you can also use glue um, and you can fiddle about in the filament settings in Bamboo Slicer. After some successful printing yesterday, um, albeit after some adjustments, um, I've got something in mind for the final print uh, for this video. It's going to require some actual design which will be interesting because uh, I haven't ever done it before so let me take you and we'll see what I'm going to try and print. So this is my electric bike that I've been building. You can see a playlist of the build which I'll link to um, but if we come down to here there's some plastic clips here and it should have one, two, three. It's missing this third clip here. We're going to try and 3D print one of these. It's quite small, so it won't use that much filament up, and uh, we can do prototypes and print it quickly. Um, and it's also probably going to provide quite a challenge to recreate this. So the first thing is to measure it. I'm going to do a little drawing. So that's, that's the rough drawing of it anyway. Uh, we just need to measure it. Firstly we'll check the height. Depth. Depth of the little hook. The width at the top. The width at the bottom. That's the rough drawing we've got to work with. So we'll attempt to uh, put this into some sort of 3D modelling programme. I've got my basic shape drawn out. There's one difference in that these lines at the edges here and here are vertical and on the actual piece they splay outwards slightly but I'm going to ignore that fact for the moment and I'm going to see if this would work. I'm using Fusion 360 and I basically went onto the sketch mode and used this line tool up here and I used a three point arc to make these this is the shape now. I've extruded it out five millimeters deep. And I think this is about good enough for the first prototype. So I think I need to export this to the slicer in Bamboo Studio now. I've got the piece set up. I've changed a couple of things just to make it a bit stronger. I'm going to probably attempt to make the infill 45%. And I've changed the number of wall loops. I'm going to make it five. I think these two basically make it stronger. But I do need them to flex slightly still so the clip can kind of fit over the cables I have on the bike. If I click slice, print plate. So the first version's going. It's Putting the first few layers down, and we'll see how it turns out. Because it's so small, it's rapidly doing the print. So this is a side-by-side -side comparison between the 3D printed one and the original. And there's kind of three differences. One is the vertical outside. Uh, lines of the 3D printed one is not quite the same with the original. Second is the sharpness of the corners and that might be one because the original one's been worn into um, but two it might be because uh, of just of the way the 3D printer works with the round nozzle. Um, and the third difference is the top overhangs aren't quite as long on the 3D printed one. But it's a pretty good first try, so I think we'll have a go and see if it fits on. Little flex test. It's the original one. Not so much for this. So this might need to be printed on something other than PLA. 
I'm not quite sure of what. Okay, so I've got the original one here. We'll try and snap it on. As easy as that. So now we've got the new print and we'll see how this goes on. It's clipped on. Worked first time. Doesn't come off easy either. Can't quite believe it's worked first try. Here it is. Final piece. Original. 3D printed. It's not a perfect copy, but it works and that's all that matters. So the clips. Can you tell which are the black ones? Is the original which one's 3D printed? Yeah, you can. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna fit them to the bike. Obviously the green one was just a test. And nice. So now I have three working clips. 